guys, welcome back to another episode of Balling With. Today we are balling with Jonathan Taylor, and we're gonna uh, talk about what's the latest news with him. Uh, I do know the Colts gave him until Tuesday to find a trading partner. Um, let's dive right into it. Uh, the relationship between the Colts running back Jonathan Taylor seems he's so strained. Um, says it's hard to imagine he come back and play for Indianapolis Colts. So I'd be surprised if he plays for them. Uh, Rappaport reported uh, it is possible. I just don't know if it will happen. This is a relationship that is not good. It's not good. Um, he hasn't got any indication that the Colts are willing to do anything. Uh, and if I were Jonathan Taylor, I wouldn't want to play for this team anymore either. Jim Murphy is the uh, he's a scumbag. The way he treats his players. Um, Payne Manning and Andrew Luck, the two greatest quarterbacks of all time, don't even like your um, team, the brand. Payne Manning associated himself with Denver Broncos. Andrew Luck retired early. Why? Uh, Jonathan Taylor, one of your better running backs in the league, and you can treat him like that because he wants to get paid. Yeah, it's, it's like a, that's what Jonathan Taylor should say to him. But uh, yeah, that this all season for him, they just treated the running back market so crazy. Uh, it's kind of sad to say, sad to see as well. Um, Adam Scheffler also reports close to giving Jonathan Taylor into Tuesday to find a sustainable trade partner. Um, Six teams have inquired about Taylor's availability, and two have actually made some offers. Um, I think that the Indianapolis Colts want top dollar, or, you know, top value, of course, when they're trading for this person, but y'all don't want to pay top value. So what, and since they're probably going to get a seven-round draft pick like Isaiah Simmons, like, but they're going to try to stand tall on that they know he's way more than that. So why not? So they're going to want more for him, but they're not going to want to pay that price to keep him. These NFL owners make me sick. Um, one of the teams that are interested in Jalen, Jonathan Taylor, is the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles pulled this off, bro. I don't know. They're just some fishy going on over there. And they better win the Super Bowl within the next two seasons. If they don't, it's all going to crumble downhill bad. But um, the Eagles roster is OC. I do think the Eagles are going to go back to the Super Bowl. And I do have Jalen Hurts winning the MVP. I'm sorry. Not sorry. But I'm a Commanders fan, and I have logic. And being a Commanders fan, you know we're uh, going to be a tough season for us, of course. But like always, unless we have a unicorn season. Uh, but I do see Eagles, uh, 49ers, and the NFC. Um, they're going to do something good. Vikings have a chance, but we'll see. Um, but this is the roster for the Eagles. If they get Jonathan Taylor, they already have DeAndre Swift, which was a pretty great pickup. They got rid of Miles Sanders, uh, but you can put DeAndre Swift in there, younger guy, Rashad Penny as well, bro. What the? They got a straight running back game. Well, he got a touchdown during the Super Bowl, um, but they got a slay of running backs. Jalen Hurts is a running back, so one, two, three, four, five, about six running backs on the roster, and that's what they do. That right, that read zone option can't stop it, especially with Jalen Hurts. He's too cool, calm, and collective in that pocket. He's gonna throw that thing. AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. I like Watkins as well. Um, and I like tight end Goddard. Those are good players. Uh, the Eagles are going to be great. They have a great offensive line. Jason Kelsey decided to come back. He's a dog. Um, but Jonathan Taylor with them, definitely going back to the Super Bowl and definitely might win the Super Bowl. It'd be crazy if you thought otherwise. Um, here's a quick little video Pat McPhee.
Jonathan Taylor will get paid. Uh, I did look at some other tweets of Jonathan Taylor. The teams that are interested in Jonathan Taylor are the Miami Dolphins, are the Philadelphia Eagles, and Chicago Bears. But when I did search his name up, this one also report says, uh, just missed it. Okay, here we go. Uh, that wasn't it either. But the Jonathan Taylor camp basically said they're not interested in the Chicago Bear trade. And they are pushing for the Miami Dolphins, and they are pushing for the Philadelphia Eagles, of course. Um, with that being said, what do you team do you think Jonathan Taylor will be best at? Uh, is he getting snubbed this offseason? How do you feel about this current running back market? Uh, guys, leave your comments in the comment section. I do think Jonathan Taylor will find a home. I think he'll be better off in a different uniform. It just sucks to suck because Anthony Richardson, I had a hope in him, and him and Jonathan Taylor are going to do some crazy things. But I do have a hope in Anthony Richardson. He's going to have to get away from the um, the organization as well, but he will be a playmaker. But it's sad to say because even without him having Jonathan Taylor on his team, now he's going to do a lot more load. And I would look for John, I mean, I would look for uh, AR 15 to win rookie of the year. Side note. But Jonathan Taylor, uh, he will have a home. He will be a um, value somewhere else. And he's still going to be high uh, pick in fantasy. So. What's your point? He's still gonna get paid, he's still gonna get a contract. He's doing what he's doing. Uh he's a grown man. I respect his decision. And you guys, uh he's a top three, top five running back in the league, no cap. But uh make sure guys like make sure you like, comment, subscribe again. Uh we're gonna be posting more videos this week. Um catch you on the next one. Boom!